Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. If you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much for taking some more time out of your day to spend with me. I truly appreciate your support and I would not be able to continue making these videos if I didn't have your support behind me. So thank you, thank you so much. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you subscribe before you go. Click on that little red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Screen, not screen. Give this video a thumbs up and I would love to have you all come back and visit again. So today I'm going to be doing something different. It has to do with touch tone jewelry. I'm not showing anything new this time on my jewelry, but I do, I wanted to just try something different for my next purchase. So I hope that you stick around for that. So for now, I'm just thinking, you know, it has been ages since I did a outfits of the day video and I really enjoy doing those. It just really set me out of my comfort go zone trying new things in my closet and putting things together and since i haven't been doing them i feel like i'm wearing the same old same old things all the day in and day out i wash my clothes from the washer the dryer i take them out of the dryer i fold them i put them on the chair and the next week i wear the same five outfits again to work so um so i'm glad to be doing this one it's uh something that i haven't worn yet this was actually a jilly dress from my November mix and match box. And as soon as I opened it, I just loved it. I had seen it on some other uh, YouTubers that I watch and I loved it on them. Didn't love it as much as me, but I loved it anyway. So I kept it. I'm wearing this, uh, I forgot what this was. It's a denim jacket that I got from actually Amazon Prime Wardrobe. It's a cropped length jacket. It's got an unfinished hem. I'm wearing, of course, some Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski jewelry. And I've got a little Balzano bracelet on that I'm wearing and some Jilly uh, boots that I actually got from QVC. And I actually, I said to myself, no more booties. It's sandal time, no more booties till next year. And then somehow these fell into my cart. They just walked right into my cart. What was I supposed to do? So anyway, just wanted to show you this look. It was 65 today, if you can believe it. So it really felt like the first day of spring. I knew it was going to be nice. So I wanted to wear something kind of fun, but casual, but still work appropriate. Of course, we're going to have snow this week. Uh, we're going to have snow on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I um, had to enjoy wearing a spring outfit while I could. So anyway, this jacket, like I said, it's got this unfinished type hem. It's a crop length. It's a little bit shorter in the back than in the front. It's got just the standard buttons on it that you would see on a jean jacket. But let's get into the dress. So again, I opened this dress up in November in my stitch, my mix and match box, and it was like the best box I had ever gotten. I was like so excited, prancing around in my leopard coat all night long. But anyway, this dress was in there, and it's got a, like a wrap front. It's got ruffles right here, and I did end up pinning it right there for work. It is a full wrap, but it's got this ruffle that's attached. So the ruffle starts here, and then goes down around the bottom, and all the way in the back. I think it's got some nice movement. It just looks so really soft and feminine, so I just love it. Uh, First bracelet I have on is this one from Balzano, and I think a couple of people got, got it that month that I got this one. So it's got a little mauve suede wide wrap, and then all these uh, stones that are kind of glued on, so it's really, really pretty. I've got this uh, black wrap bracelet with all these crystals on it from Swarovski. I'm wearing two different Chanel necklaces today. One's uh, they're calling the Deep Purple, the other one's the Aurora Borealis. And when the light hits these, um, not so much this kind of light, but um, just fluorescent lights and just the regular home lights. I mean, it just it just sparkles. I can see it in the mirror right there, but I can't see it in the monitor. This one's called the Ta Sands of Time necklace. There's a stone in here, a crystal in here that's got a little rose tone, but they're like topaz and amber and then some clear. Just love these. And the booties that I was not going to buy anymore this year, but I could not resist. And they're the Jilly boots that I got um, that have like the camo on the back and the gray suede. So this has got like a snake print in the back. So it's just really nice and shiny and then some nice black suede these are so comfortable um, 
these were I wore these on Friday to work and I wore them again today and I pedaled on my little elliptical under my desk for about five miles today and my feet were comfortable no chafing I uh, just love these so anyway no more booties I need sandals now so anyway I just have a touch I'm going to show sit down and show you um, my idea for my next touch tone purpose purpose purchase so I hope that you stick around for that in spite of my slurring my words I do not have any wine yet so anyway I'll be right back so welcome back for a part two now um, I think the slower season for Belinda is over so she's back into her party moves uh, for my my consultant from touchstone crystal by Swarovski jewelry so she's into more parties so not doing like that single thing where I've got a chance to win the big prize so but my daughter Raina is having a party at the end of the month uh, or by the end of this month so I know I'm going to be buying something again but like I said in the beginning of this is that I feel like I'm kind of getting into a rut where I'm wearing the same clothes the same jewelry and I've really got a nice collection and so when I do the try-ons it's like I'm putting these pieces together but for my everyday life not so much and I think you can tell by the collection of the jewelry that I've shown you already and what I wear during the try-ons I think I've got kind of like classic pieces uh, simple pieces that I'm putting together I do they do have a lot of sparkles so maybe a lot of people don't think them as being a uh, simple classic but to me it is but I'm thinking maybe I need to step up my game maybe go outside my comfort zone maybe um, for my daughter's party pick something that I normally wouldn't wear and that is where I need your help so um, I'll link the page to uh, the catalog so that you can take a peek and what I'm hoping you have time to do is to kind of go through the catalog and see what is it that Nancy doesn't wear what does she need to wear what is she afraid to wear but she should really take a chance and go for it so and I'm thinking that you know maybe I need more of a statement piece or some fun summer jewelry so there's this one and it's a crystal of course but the flowers the necklace and and you can see it on that lady right there and it's not really big not really that bold there's another one in here that is much bolder I don't have a picture of anybody wearing it but I don't know if that's for me or not or maybe I need to invest in maybe some longer pendants, some brighter pendants with some little burst of color or just maybe something for summer, something maybe more trending, maybe not so classic that I, I tend to go lean towards. So that's where I'm really hoping that you'll help me out. So again, I'm going to link the page to the catalog. Um, my daughter's party will be sometime by the end of the month. So I'll need to kind of figure out what I'm going to get before then. So I'm really hoping that you can help me out and trying something new. Um, and in the comments, if you write maybe the order number or what the name of it is, I can kind of check it out and kind of make a little scorecard and then go with the one that's uh, referenced the most. So anyway, thanks again for your support, ladies, and I hope that you help me out with this project. I think it should be fun, should be different, and looking forward to seeing what you come up with for me. Thanks again, everyone. Have a great week this week, and we'll chat again soon.